Central News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. It was certainly a hot one out there, but not nearly as, as bad as yesterday. Uh, we had a lot more sunshine, that's for sure. Just every once in a while, we've been seeing some thunder showers popping up to the south of us. I couldn't completely rule one out, but I, I just see so much dry air. It's going to be really tough. Look at the numbers, though. DC's at 95, 90 in Hagerstown. We're sitting right near that 90 degree mark. And we get in a little closer, you can see there's nothing on the radar around us. We are dry at this hour. All the numbers are in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Carlisle, Chambersburg, both at 90, 87 in York. Reading, you're coming in at 88 degrees, 87 in Sealands Grove. Actually, the humidity just notched down a little bit from yesterday. Here's a live look right now over the Lebanon Valley. And there's some hazy sunshine, a few patchy clouds, 87 degrees. Dew point at 70, but at this time yesterday, the dew points were in the mid-70s. Three or four or five degrees higher than they are today. It's still hot and it's still sultry with that 70 degree mark, but not quite as oppressive as it was yesterday. Here's your forecast. We head to Campbelltown, keep it in Lebanon County, mostly sunny this evening, warm and muggy. Like I said, maybe along the Mason Dixon line, one or two neighborhoods could see an isolated thunder shower. I kind of doubt it though. Partly cloudy, muggy overnight tonight will be in the lower 70s. Tomorrow, clouds and sunshine. There could be a few thunderstorms around. It's going to be hot and humid. 88 to near 92 degrees. Looks like the thunderstorms might favor them late in the afternoon. Weather and your health for tomorrow. Looks like the air quality could be at moderate levels. The ozone levels may be coming up. Those of you sensitive lung conditions, uh, heed that. Nine for the UV index. Here's the uh, here's the temperatures as we go through the evening hours. We drop it back into the 70s to near 80 degrees. Again, couldn't rule out that thunder shower. By the way, if we don't go to 72. By midnight, which I don't think we will, we'll set the record for the warmest low temperature, the warmest minimum temperature for July 20th. Mid 70s overnight tonight, going to be another monkey night, some clouds coming in. Those clouds are ahead of a cold front, and I do think they'll give us some thunderstorms as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Again, hit and miss stuff, but there could be a few of those, especially later in the day. Then it looks like uh, it'll be very nice. In fact, a nice stretch right on through Friday, lower humidity, seasonal temperatures. Fair amount of sunshine. I don't see really any threats of rain right on probably into Saturday before another front gets here as we head on into Sunday. Our kids are at nice looking picture here. This is from Evan Tracy from Hanover. Evan uh, is a first grader there at Park Hills Elementary School. Thank you, Evan. Checking on the roadways here.